starting off the episode by just playing uh, triple throw offline, trying to get these rebounds with Patrick Williams. That we need to get four offensive boards. He already has three, and he also needs um, seven rebounds to be able to get the new Luca that came out today. We're trying to get those uh, challenges done just so we can get the 99 overall dark matter at the end of the like event ish, whatever you want to call it. But if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We upload basically every single day, and we're on the road to 450 subscribers by the end of April. And right now, I'm just trying to take a whole bunch of dumb stuff so I can get this damn rebound, and it's just not happening. Let me know what card you guys are at in the in the current event right now. Let me know if you guys are caught up with, like, Patrick Williams, if you already got Luka, anything like that. Because I'm actually curious who's actually doing them or just waiting until the last second to do them. Like, a majority of people probably are doing. Because that's usually what I do. I, like, procrastinate, and I wait until the last second to do stuff. I get these damn rebounds, and it's looking like it's going to be extremely annoying. This is probably the only challenge that's been annoying so far, just because you actually have to force up, like, shots that you willingly wouldn't take in other situations. Uh, we're going to call, like, a pick and roll. We're going to shoot a late. If he makes that, bullshit. I, I, you know, I need these damn rebounds. Where is Patrick Williams jumping? I don't care if I lose this game. I really don't, man. But it's just annoying that I make the ones that, come on, block me, block me, block me, block me. Damn. I don't know if he got all of them offensively, but we did get a majority of them offensively. He's going to hit that. Um, and we need two more rebounds with Patrick Williams, and we're done with that. That's off. Two more rebounds if we get Luka Doncic. We're just trying to get the four offensive boards just so we can get the 500 XP to help us out towards uh, Josh Giddy. Which I'm not too excited for, especially after I saw like what people were saying about the card. They were saying it was extremely trash. Um... But we'll see. We'll see when I use him. I don't know. If anything, I'll use him like Magic Johnson just to play defense. I'm honestly waiting for the level beyond 40 challenges just so I can see if there's any new Dark Matters in there. Because the limited Dark Matter is not going to be in there at all. So I'm guessing they'll probably put the, uh, the Clutch Time one in there, if I were to guess, to be honest. You wait. I'm going to need you to miss. I'm going to need you to miss, buddy. I'm going to need you to miss. That's not missing, buddy. That's not missing. Uh, but we did pick up a Michael Porter Jr. Like, and what I mean by that, I did buy a pack for 50,000 MT. I know it's dumb. I know it's dumb. But the way I looked at it is I get an extra few thousand, um, XP, right? And then I just sell them back for like 30 or 20. I think I sold them for 24,000. And we didn't get the offensive boards. And we didn't get Luka. So, I mean, we gotta go through another triple throw offline game. But before I do that... I put so many of my badges up for like 500, and that's the only reason I'm back over 400,000. Um, but I did get the Michael Porter Jr. originally owned challenge done over here. Where is it? Is it fan favorites XP? No, it's not fan favorites. Take off, take off, right here. I was gonna do that for all of them, just because Kawhi needs 40 points, and you get his stuff done. You gotta get six assists with Kawhi, but they're all going for stupid expensive, just because everybody's trying to get um all the Hall of Fame badges they can. Even though, even if it is just um, sniper, I wish you could like exchange it for tokens. Like, let's say like 750 tokens per uh, Hall of Fame badge. That'd be a cool idea that I would like to see in 2K. I still haven't decided which player I'm gonna upgrade. I might just wait until Friday to upgrade a card. This game I'm going to be doing the signature challenge, the Jason Tatum one for this season, just so I can get the extra Hall of Fame badge on top of it. And that's one of the reasons I'm trying to hit level 40, man, just to get that extra Hall of Fame badge. And then we're going to have probably like 10, unless we get a duplicate, of course. Which I kind of want a duplicate. Or I want, di not diamonds, I want blinders. I mean, I'll take a dimers. Um, but we got some pretty good badges. We got a little bit of spot up. We got all those badges like that. We got, we also got, what else badge? I think we have Hall of Fame clams, if I remember right. Something like that. Um, but we definitely got to get some more Hall of Fame badges. Yep, so this is a miss. This better be a miss. Thank you. Come again. All right, so we're done with that. We got Luka out the way. We're going to have Luka after this game. We're taking a lot of crazy shots. I need two offensive boards. That's all I really need. Shoot that. Shoot that. Come on. That's off. Terrible shot. That wasn't a terrible shot. That was just a pull-up by the computer, but still. I'm going to try to use the cheese that I used to use to get uh, rebounds when I needed, like, rebounds with other people. See, you make them both jump, but I had to switch into Patrick, and I didn't switch into him at all. Like, no, that's not going in, my bud. Come on, man. You know better than that. No way he makes that, right? No, man. I'm trying to force these damn rebounds. Let me know if you guys like watching stuff like this, because I usually just skip triple throw offline. 
when I'm doing challenges that are extremely annoying. But I kind of figured that you guys would watch it. Um, we're going to pull up right here. We're going to switch. We're going to go left. And, of course, Ty Lue did not get the rebound. That's not even Ty Lue. That's Trey Young. How do I mix the, both of those guys up at all? Bro, Jason Tatum's been going in. Been going in on the Nets. He wants that bad, man. They just want it more. KD's missing a whole bunch of shots. Kyrie's missing a whole bunch of shots. Like, I, oh, that's another thing. Bro, I don't know why ESPN is so infatuated with uh, Kyrie Irving, like, and his Ramadan. Like, bro, just let him practice the religion, bro. Let's leave him alone. <laughs> like, it's not that serious, bro. Man, you got, like, all the cameras, like, recording him while eating a banana, bro. You know how weird that is? Just leave him alone, bro. Just let him chill out. But that's just me, man. That's just me. Besides that, the Celtics and Nets games have been extremely good. Jason Tatum's been going in. Um, the first one, he literally snuck one. And got a spin layup and won the game. The second one, it was an absolute blowout in the fourth quarter. I don't know. The, the Nets just collapsed completely. Like, you had um, Marcus Smart hitting left-handed layups. Like, I don't know what was going on yesterday. I really don't. But they're up 2-0. I don't think it's going to be a sweep. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's going to be a sweep. I think that the Nets are probably get two. Probably these two at home. And then the Celtics are going to sweep them. Well, not sweep them. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Just get uh, the last two games out the way. Or it could go game seven. You never know because KD could go off. Like, he's been playing extremely bad. And I don't know, man. Let me know what team you guys think that is going to win the NBA Finals. I think the Bucks are going to win it, to be honest. Even though they just lost the game, which is extremely surprising they lost to the Bulls. They needed DeMar DeRozan to go for 41. For 41 for them to even win by, like, three. Like, three or four. It was something like that. They won at the end when DeMar... Just bodied. But not even body. He just got Giannis's number at the end, man. That's an offensive board. No way that doesn't count, right? No way that doesn't count. There's no way the game just hold me like that, right? No way the game just hold me like that, right? And we lost the game. Hopefully that they gave us the offensive board when Kyrie took it from us. Because if not, I'm gonna have to play another triple throw offline game, which I won't like uh make you guys sit through at all. Um but we'll see, we'll see. We should have Luka, though. Yep, we have Luka. Did we get that XP for it? No, we did not because Kyrie Irving wanted to steal our rebound when uh, our card just literally tipped it for no reason. No apparent reason. We just completed the Jason Tatum challenge where we get a free Hall of Fame badge pack, which I was telling you guys about because we're trying to get more Hall of Fame badges. And then we can only get, well, I think, one more from uh, the Level 40 challenge. And then maybe when they drop it in Limited, they drop a couple Hall of Fame badges in there. I don't think I should lock in the sniper badge just because I feel like a lot of people are going to have a Hall of Fame sniper. And that's really not going to give that much value to a card. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this Tatum Signature Challenge Pack real quick. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's at least something good. Nothing bad, nothing like crazy. And I flipped it. Eh, I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. It could have been a duplicate that was ass. Like, it could have been a clutch shooter. But we'll take that. We get some Chuck Taylors. You get an interior defense with two blocks. Um, let's see what other boosts we get. Because we don't get two Hall of Fame badges out of here, right? If, if that would have happened, I would have been hyped as hell. Um, but currently, we need one more Triple Threat Online game. And I believe you get 1,000 XP, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Yep. yep, we need one more Triple Threat Online game to get 1,000 XP, so we're going to go ahead and do that. But, I mean, that badge, not the worst, not the best. I kind of wish it was like a Blinders or a Dimer or something like that. But we'll take a Posterizer. I'm not going to complain about it. Because if we got another clutch shooter badge, I would have been a little bit upset. But we also put a whole bunch of badges up on the auction block, which are going to sell in three hours. So I'll leave them for next episode of No Money Spent. Um, because after this triple throw online game, that's going to do it for this episode. So this game, and right now it's 6-4. This guy's not playing any defense. Um, his defense is really bad. I'm not even going to lie. We're just going to call a pick and roll with on Shaq and just shoot the three. Never mind. We'll get the free dunk. We'll get the free dunk or free layup. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but it is what it is. I just know that after this game, we'll be 8,000 XP away from Dark Matter, level 40, Josh Giddy, which I'm actually hyped about, even though, like, I don't think he's going to be that, like, usable. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a free Dark Matter, and I'll take it any day of the week. That is a terrible shot. This guy has a free agent. He has um, Vince Carter, and he has Shaq. So, his team isn't that good. So, if I lose this game... I mean, I just, I'm just i just playing out ass. Straight up. There, there's no other way to put it. Like, where is Curry going? Like, you can have that, my boy. Like, I'm playing Computer D. Don't care. To that point, I want to win. Wide open. He's not even playing defense on me. So, I mean, 
I don't know if he thinks I'm going to give him free buckets, but I'm not going to give him free buckets. I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm trying hard. He has to give it up. Oh, I thought he dribbled, but all right. I mean, we're not going to complain about it at all. Speaking about Curry, man, the Warriors are looking different right now. And now that Poole is hooping, bro, him, Clay, and Curry are going to be a force to be reckoned with, to be honest. I didn't think that Poole was that good. I thought he was going to be a little bit overrated at the beginning of the season. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, I seen it. Um, Jordan Poole when he was, like, in high school or some stupid shit. Like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think he was going to be good. It's just plain and simple. I, I mean, I feel like a lot of people that say, oh, I seen, like, potential in him. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, bro. Unless you're a diehard Warriors fan, you didn't. I mean, he didn't even get drafted by the Warriors, I don't think. I think he got drafted by the Spurs, if I remember right. Something like that. He was, like, a crazy low pick. But we do get the win, man. Um, just like the Warriors, because the Warriors are probably going to sweep the Denver Nuggets. But... I don't know. These series are a little bit iffy. I, I don't know. It, some series can go either way, and some series are just straight up sweeps. I, I don't know, man. Even the Bucks lost. So I, I don't know what's going to go on. But we did get 1,000 XP for that challenge. But that's going to do it for today's episode of No Money Spent. I mean, we got, like, these challenges done. We're all caught up. We already did all the challenges. We got every single card. We're just waiting on tomorrow's card. It which should be an 83 overall, right? What was Luca? Luca's an 82, if I remember right, right? Oh, he's an 83. So the next card's going to be an 84. And, yeah, we're, we just got to see. And we're just going to keep doing them every single time. We're closing in on starting to see the Amethyst uh, start rolling through from those challenges. So be sure to keep up with those. And subscribe to the channel. We basically upload every single day. And it's been your boy, Lou. And we have to stand. Peace.